Hi, I realized when I made the last video, I kind of brushed through how to create a, con uh, a countdown timer. And I thought I'd, sh I'd come back and make a quick video to show you um, all the options that are available to you. So again, I am on a site called tickcounter.com. And what I want to do is I want to create a countdown timer that aligns with my own time zone. So if you'll notice, and this is a thing that I skipped, is that the time zone by default is set to UTC or Universal Time, which is Greenwich Mean Time, um, which is, you know, standard time, but it's set out of England. So we want to make an adjustment here to get it to our time zone. First thing I want to do is I want to figure out what adjustment I have to make. Now, I could come in here and pick Eastern Standard Time. If I scroll up, you see there's a lot of times in here. Um, but I don't want to do that necessarily because we use daylight savings time and at certain times of the year we will be on Eastern Standard Time, but in certain times of the year we're going to have to make an adjustment from that. So what I did is I opened a new tab and I searched for current time New York City because it's our, going to be the same time zone that we're on, although I'm sure you could probably put your own time, uh, your own town in and, and get the same information. And um, what is the current time zone in New York City? If I open that up, you can see that generally we're five hours earlier than Greenwich Mean Time or Universal Time. Um, but right now we're on Daylight Saving. So right now we're four hours earlier, you know, minus four hours. Okay, so now that we know that information, I'm going to come back into Tick Counter and let's set that first. I'm going to come in here, I'm going to scroll up. And if you scroll up far enough, you're going to see um, this GMT minus six minus five minus four so these are all adjustments from Greenwich Mean Time and if I'm doing it at this point in the year I want to be minus four so just keep that in mind uh, now I'll do the other settings I mean this is kind of a long due date so I'm going to set it to 2020 I will set it to April and I think I had picked the 24th at 3 p.m. Again, you can set it down to minutes and seconds if you want, but this is now due at 3 p.m. April 24th local time. Another option that I didn't look into was the name of the counter. Right now it says my countdown, but I can change this. I can say, um, okay, and now that will appear. So not essential, but a nicety. I can also turn that off if I want, so I don't see any name on it. But if I like a name, I just click that. Under more options, um, here you can you can change some options. We really want to leave it to stop counting on zero. So once it gets to zero, people are going to know that their time is up and that they're late. Um, over here on the left, you can see that there are certain colors. Okay, the background color is white. Now to explain this briefly, these are hexadecimal colors. So hexadecimal is a base 16 system, which um, not too common for us, but because computers are digital and things are done in multiples of two, it kind of makes sense. So if you want to find any colors in hexadecimal, you can always just search them out. Um, hexadecimal uses not only 0 through 9, but A, B, C, D, E, and F as well. Um, you could open a, another site here and hexadecimal colors. And a quick search is, is going to get you lots of information. Um, you know, you can look for colors here and pick them as soon as you click on one. It, it's going to show you the, the colors that are related to this over here. So this is this purple, but it's 75% it's would be this color, etc. So I'm not going to mess with that too much, but you can see that if I, if I took this and I said 0, 0 at the end, that that would change the color significantly. Okay, so... Um, something you might not want to mess with, but if you're interested, you know, go ahead and play with them. Now, um, you can see that that blue applies to the title here. The black is the, is the day, hours, and minutes. The last unit of color is currently red, which is FF and four zeros. Although you can make it black, you could just change it to any one of these codes and that would work. Um, a border color, if you want a border color on this thing, you can, you can give it its own color here and you can see that there's a very faint gray border around it okay um, there are also more options on this side border width so if I bump that up you can see that my border is now larger if I wanted that to be black 
I can give it six zeros and I've now got a black border. Um, you know, I'm going to use a black border, I'll probably reduce it to a fine line like that. Um, you can also choose not to display all the units. So if you wanted to, I could remove the seconds or the minutes and things. I kind of like it the way it is. Now, once that's done, for our purposes, you're going to click on this embed in your website. And that should pop up in a second. And then you just copy that code. Um, there it is. So just uh, oop, lost it there for a second. Right click on it and copy it. And then you can follow the other video, the first video, about how to embed that into a Google site. Very simple. Use the embed feature. Um, come over to the embed code option instead of the URL and just drop it in there. It'll appear right in your site. So kind of a fun thing to do.